they actually deployed uh, the first H100, the strongest data center chip ever to make it to space. So let's explain that because this is uh, this is important. So what we have is low Earth satellites like Starlink are great for data transmissions to our little satellite dishes and actually a pretty rapid speed. 20 to 40 milliseconds. However, if you're gonna do data centers, you're gonna have to do it through lasers. Anyway, they actually deployed uh, the first H100, the strongest data center chip ever to make it to space. Uh, and so what they're tr like pitching is that, hey, we wanna be the first to bring data centers to space. And they have this little infographic, which is somewhat useful if you look right here, you can see that s satellites, can optically be linked to each other. This is a fancy way of saying with lasers. You know, in, on Earth, we use fiber optic cables, which are these like little glass flexible tubes, essentially, and light kind of refracts through them. However, if you do it in space, it's actually about 30% faster because you don't have the friction of the refraction in the glass fiber optic cable. So it's kind of cool. So anyway, you could do these space laser communications between satellites really rapidly, uh, and these data links can then also be linked to stations on the Earth. That's fine, because we're not sending massive, like, petabytes of data. But data centers, they're gonna want direct optical links to these satellites. It turns out it's a lot easier to get data to and from space than it is to get energy to and from space. So space data centers could work.